Today I want to give some advice around the ideal grazing covers to turn cows into and the logic behind why we graze the covers we graze. So if I just bend down here and take a look at the grass on this paddock here, if we look here, this is a cover of 1400, it was measured last Monday and a very simple way without any measurement tools or anything is to take a clump of grass and pull it out of the field and say there's one fistful with the base of it there and the second fistful. So when you have two fistfuls of grass and there's a little bit sticking out on top, that's the cover of 1400. If you had a third fistful on that, that would be probably closer to 2000 of a cover. So ideally speaking, if you've got two fistfuls of grass, that's what you should be turning your cows into today. The reason we turn cows into a cover of 1400 is because it's the ideal growth stage of the plant. If we take this piece of grass here, you can see it's at the tree leaf stage. This is your leaf that has died back from the last time, and you've got your new leaf coming here at the top. And the next time, it'll be this leaf that'll die down, and you'll have a new leaf coming here. And the plant does that cycle every three weeks. So ideally, during the main growing season, we want to have the paddock grazed every 18 to 21 days. If we graze paddocks every 28 days, say, the growing pint of grass, as you'll see on this, there's very little stem in the base of this plant. If we left that grow for 28 days as opposed to 21 days, the stem in the plant will become longer. You'll get poorer grow grazing out by the cows. In this plant here, you'll have no problem, as you'll see in a moment, the cows can graze this right down to maybe two to three centimeters in dry conditions. But if you let the growing pint of the plant increase up higher, you'll have far poorer graze out. Cows will have lower proteins because when you have a lot of stem in the grass, the protein becomes suppressed due to the reduced intakes. And the energy density in that has probably dropped from 82 to 85 DMD grass down to closer to 70 to 75 DMD grass when you get more stem in the base of it. And if you force your cows to graze out that stem, that's, as I said, going to depress your protein and depress milk volumes. Then if we look at maybe another piece of grass here where we've got a shorter grass, when you've got low cover, say less than a thousand, a thousand, eleven hundred, those light covers of grass, you're going to have cows not being able to eat enough grass to fill themselves. So again, you'll have a restricted output of protein and milk volume. And also you'll have low butter fats because Although you don't want the fibre to build up too much in the grass, you want enough fibre that the cow is ruminating and tuner could enough. So if you're going into those low covers of 900 to 1000 kg dry matter per hectare, you're going to have poor fibre in the diet and you're going to have very low butter fats. And that will be a problem for cows as we move into May and grass starts growing rapidly and the rotation shortens maybe down to 14 to 16 days. You'll end up with very little fibre in that grass. It'll be lush, green, leafy grass and that can just be a problem. And in times like that, when you have that very leafy grass, it's a good idea to offer cows some long fibre, be that a bit of hay or straw along by your feed rail that they can access maybe a kilo of dry matter just to increase the fibre in that diet when you're on that lush green grass. And we did some training and we saw out there where they had the ideal grass, very similar to this here where he has, he's going into 1400 covers, his cows are grazing right out, we would have said down to less than 50 kilos of dry matter left over on those paddocks. His grass will be lush and green because of the way he's grazing on his paddocks. He's measuring grass every week, going out, eyeballing his paddocks, checking three days ahead, three days behind where the cows are, just to make sure that he has enough grass coming. It allows him to make a decision about the grass that he grazed three weeks ago is heavy enough to target cover of 1400, but also what he grazed three days ago, that it has started to regrow. And the main thing about walking grass is that, number one, you check the covers you're going into. Number two is that you're checking what's coming behind you. So when you're making a decision, if paddocks get too strong, you can take out paddocks. So checking what's behind you allows you to see what's coming in the background, but also checking in front sees that you're going into the ideal cover. So if your cover gets too high, but you have no grass coming in the background, well then you're not going to take that grass out in bale silage. Whereas if you've got good regrowth in the last paddocks that were grazed, and your new paddocks are getting strong, well then you can make the decision to take out the strong paddocks and get back to where your 12 to 1400 cover so that you get ideal constituents in the milk.